Now, in this lecture, we'll talk about the header and the footer template tag. We know that you can use this block info template tag to get the information about your site. So why don't we just get rid of all these three lines and use a simple get header template tag to grab all the information about your site. Isn't it great to have only one template tag to grab all the information about your site? Yes, it is. Using header template tag, you can get the website title and the description at the same time. Let me show you. So if I just get rid of these all three lines and if I just call here a PHP tag and inside it, I'm going to just simply call get header. So if I just call here get header template tag, then I'm going to get the site title and the description on my page. So if I just save the changes and just reload my website, I have my site title. My site title is in the anchor tag. If you take a look at this source code, if I reload the source code file, you can notice I have the simple HTML5 structure. I have the HTML tag, the headings and the link tags. You can notice we have title, we have different links and the meta section. So you will get a simple header using this get header template tag. Now your site is work without this template tag, but it will be missing several essential pieces the CSS and the site name and the tagline. The simple way to get your site title, your CSS file and the tagline is using this get header template tag. Now let's talk about the footer. So if I just add here another PHP syntax, I'm going to say here get footer. I'm going to just call a simple template tag get footer. Just save all the changes and reload my website. When I reload it, you can notice I have my footer here. WP Daily is proudly powered by WordPress. And if I just reload this source code, you can notice we have a footer here. Now let's talk about how you can customize this get header template tag and this get footer template tag. Now let's first talk about the get header template tag. The get header template for your WordPress theme is a starting point for every WordPress theme because it provides a few main information for the web browser. Just like the title of your site, the location of CSS, the RSS feed URL, the site title and the tagline or you can say the description of the website. So let's see how you can create the header template file so you can customize this header. So let's say if you want to customize this get header template tag. The simple way to customize it is using a simple header.php template file. So I'm going to just create a header.php template file in this WordPress theme. So I'm going to just create here a new file and name that file header.php. And inside this file, I'm going to just simply create h1 heading tag and say header area. When I save the changes and just reload my browser, you can notice I'm going to have header area here behind this panel. If you reload this source code, you can notice here we have this header area inside this h1 heading tag. You can do the same with this footer section as well. So I'm going to just back to my index.php file and just create a template file for this get footer template tag. So I'm going to just create a new file inside this root directory of this WordPress theme. I'm going to just create a new file inside this root directory and I'm going to name it footer.php. And inside this file, I'm going to simply call h1 heading tag and say footer area. Save the changes. And when I reload my website, you can notice here I have header area and the footer area. And if you reload the source code, you can notice I have h1 header area and this h1 footer area. So now using this simple header.php and the footer.php, you can customize this both template tag. So now, once we know that how we can customize both these template tags, why don't we create a simple HTML5 snippet and put that snippet into this get header template tag and this get footer template tag. So why don't we just head over to the header.php file, get rid of this h1 heading tag. And here, by using exclamation mark in Visual Studio Code, I can create a simple 
HTML5 snippet. If I just call here exclamation mark and press enter, I would have a simple HTML5 snippet here. So I'm going to just add here HTML5 snippet and I'm going to say here title WP daily. Now you can notice in the header section we have doc type, which stands for document type declaration. So this doc type tells the browser which type of XHTML standard I am using. Then I'm going to have here a simple HTML with the language English. You know that the HTML stands for hypertext markup language. So this tells browser which language I'm using to write the web pages. And then I'm going to have here a head section. Now in the head section, now the head tag tells the browser that the information contents within the tag shouldn't be displayed on the site. Rather, it's information about the document. Because this is just the header part of our site, let's remove the rest of the element from this header tag. So why don't we remove this closing HTML and this closing body from this header tag and put that inside this footer. So I'm going to just specify here a closing body and the HTML tag. Just save the changes and save this header.php file as well. And now if I reload my website, you can notice in the source code, I have HTML5 snippet, right? We have here doc type, the HTML the head section of my website and the opening and the closing body tag. Along with that, you can notice we have closing HTML as well. Now, once you know that, how you can use this simple HTML5 snippet in the header and the footer, let's move on to the very important template tag for the header section, blog info. So let's talk about what is blog info and how we can use blog info to dynamically add a content in your website. Now you can notice in the header, most of the attributes has hard-coded values. You can notice here HTML language is hard-coded. The character set is also hard-coded. And the main thing you can notice the title is also the hard-coded value. So how you can change this value if you have the hard-coded value here. So let me show you a very important and very useful template tag in WordPress is blog info template tag. So just start this body. Let's talk about this blog info template tag and how you can use it to just get the information dynamically from the WordPress. So in the body section, I'm going to simply create h3 heading tag and inside it, I'm going to call a simple PHP syntax. And inside it, I'm going to call blog info template tag. Now you know that using blog info, I'm going to have my site title. But what if I specify a parameter to this blog info? We know that we can specify parameter and change the output of this template tag. So I'm going to just specify here a parameter and I just call a name of my site. So I'm going to just say here name, save all the changes and just reload this browser. You can see we have WP daily inside this H3 heading tag. If I reload my website, I'm going to have this H3 heading tag here. Now you know that we can get the title of your website using this name parameter. So why don't we take a look at different parameter of this blog info to get the basic information about our site and just specify this blog info and change this hard coded values dynamic. So I'm going to just duplicate this line by pressing Alt Shift Down key and I'm going to just change this parameter. Now you can notice this blog info sentence with this name parameter pull the site name from the database. So using different parameter, we're going to fetch various information about our blog. So let's talk about the different parameter of the blog info template tag. So here we have a blog info template tag and I'm going to just specify another parameter which is car set. So what if I just specify here a car set parameter? Save the changes and just reload your website. You can notice you have UTF-8 character set here. So now let me show you how you can change this character set hardcoded value and make this dynamic. So you can change this character from your dashboard as well. So if I just get rid of this hard-coded value and call here a PHP tag and in this PHP tag, I'm going to call a simple blog info template tag and using a parameter can set, I can get the character set of my current blog. Now, just out of that, I can change my title using the same blog info template tag. I'm going to get it of this WP daily hard coded value and just call here a PHP syntax. And inside it, I'm going to call blog info. 
and I'm going to specify parameter to this blog info which is name. So this template tag will return the site name to this title. Save the changes. Right now you're not going to get anything here but if you reload the source code you can notice here I have the character set UTF-8 and the title WP Daily. If you want you can change this character set and this WP Daily title by using the dashboard of your website. Now you can notice these two values is not actually hard coded values. You can change it anytime whenever you want. Now in WordPress we have one more template tag to get this language attribute. So if I just get it off this language attribute and if I just call here a PHP syntax and just call a template tag here call language attributes and just call a parenthesis here. So now if I just call this language attribute template tag, I'm going to get the language attribute of my website to this web page. So if I just save all the changes and reload the source code, you can notice we have language English US. Now if you want, you can change this language using the dashboard as well. As simple as that. Now you can notice we just make this header dynamic as much as possible. In the next lecture, we'll talk about a very crucial topic of WordPress, which is loops. The loops are useful when you want to grab a post from your database and display in your website. So the next topic is absolutely important. So I will see you in the next one.